in this example, we are solving for the required power value of each bond for cash flow matching. First, let's look at the liabilities due. Year 1 has a liability of $40 million. Year 2 has a liability of $70 million. We have two government bonds available for investment. Bond X has a tenor of one year with a 4% coupon rate. Bond Y has a two-year tenor with a 5% coupon rate. The minimum denomination for each bond is $100,000. So we will always start with the longest maturity, which is in two years. Now, to calculate the power value of bond Y, which matures in year two, the equation that we'll use is the power value of bond Y plus the coupon of bond Y in year two. And the total cash flow in year two must be equal to the liability, which is $70 million. Now, to calculate the coupon, the coupon would be based on 5% of par. So that's 5% times par of bond Y. And this is one unit of par, and this is 5%. So we can factor out the 1 plus 5%. So that's 1 plus 0 0 0.05. And to get the power of bond Y, we'll take 70 million divided by 1.05, which is 1 plus the coupon rate. And we'll get 66,666,666.67. Now, based on the minimum denomination of 100,000, so if we have 600,000 in this case, so the next one would be 700,000. So we round up in this case. We round up, we don't round down. If you round down, then there will be a shortfall. But if you run up, then you would have an excess. So it's more important to have an excess in this case. Now, what's the coupon? So the coupon for bond Y would be 5% multiplied by the par value. And that gives us $3,335,000. Now, just to do a quick check to make sure that the calculation that we have here okay, fits our purpose, which is to be able to meet the liability of 70 million. We'll take the power value plus the coupon, and that gives us seventy million and thirty-five thousand dollars. So this is more than seventy million. So at least we do not fall short of the liability in year two. Next, uh, we will match the cash flow for year one using bond X. So we'll need the coupon for bond Y because uh, bond Y is has a tenor of two years. So there'll be coupon in year one and year two. So to match the cash flow. We would take the par value of bond X plus the coupon of bond X, which is both in year one. And there's also the coupon of bond Y in year one. And the total cash flow would be equal to 40 million, which is the liability due in year one. Now we know that the coupon for bond Y is 3,335,000. And for the coupon of bond X, we would take 4% of its par value. So on the first two terms, we have 1 plus 1 unit, okay, 1 plus 4%. And we'll move 3 million, the 3.335 million over to the right, okay, and we'll get a par value of 35,254,807.69. Uh, and for this case, uh, the number is 2, is 200,000 in this case. So we'll round up to 300,000. So that's $35,300,000, okay, for the par value of bond X. And to get the coupon of bond X, we'll take 4%, the coupon rate, times the par value. And that will be 1412000 Now, of course, we don't need this because we only need the par value for each bond. But just to do a quick check to make sure that the number makes sense, if we take the par value of bond X plus the coupon of bond X plus the coupon of bond Y, as what we did here, if we add all them up together, we will get more, slightly more than $40 million dollars. So again, we round up in this case because we want to have a excess. If you were to round down to 200,000, then there'll be a deficit or a shortfall. 